today, orangutans and sun bears. We're so excited. We are Sammy and Tommy. We just traveled from Brunei to Sandakan where we stayed overnight in a rainforest lodge. We're so excited today. Today we are heading to the orangutan sanctuary. We have been waiting for this for like since we, this is the reason we came to Borneo. It's today, orangutans and sun bears. We're so excited. Hopefully yeah. we can get close to them. They have certain feeding times, so we're gonna get there early. Yes, and last night sleeping in our little tree house was good. The mosquito net worked perfectly. And the yeah. sounds were very cool. You could hear animals all over the place. Yeah. Something was on a roof in the middle of the night. I'm not sure what that was, but yeah, awesome night and we're super excited for today. So let's go orangutans. We arrived right at opening time at 9 a.m. It costs 30 ringgit for foreign tourists plus a 10 ringgit camera fee. We're here, time to go find the orangutans. As we were heading down the walkway, we heard some trees shaking. As we turned the corner, we saw a flash of orange deep in the trees. Sepalak Orangutan Rehab Center was founded in 1964. It is 43 kilometers of protected land and has around 60 to 80 orangutans living free in the reserve. Once you enter the reserve, you can walk around freely and look for orangutans on your own. Just make sure to keep a safe distance and no touching. Some of the orangutans have their diet supplemented by daily feedings. The food at the feedings is purposely designed to be monotonous and boring to encourage the apes to forage for themselves. We didn't get a chance to see the orangutans at the feeding center, but we were so lucky. One of the orangutans actually jumped up on the walking platform. Yeah, so it was even Like better. a foot away. Yeah, but it's so much better than seeing them on the feeding platform because we saw them like right next to us. And then they didn't even show up to the feeding platform, which they say that's good because if they don't come to get the food, that means they're capable of getting food on their own in the wild. After the feeding, we walked to the nursery area where the younger orangutans first learned to be outside and to climb. This area consists of two large indoor seating areas with a large window that overlooks the play area. We just finished with the morning feeding at the orangutans and we just walked right across the street to the sun bear sanctuary and there's no certain feeding times on at the sun bear so we're just going to go in and see what we can see.
enjoying the Sun Bear Sanctuary. Yeah, it's really convenient because it's directly across the street from the orangutans. And the orangutans have two feeding times, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So they set it up super convenient. You go to the first orangutan feeding, then you come see the sun bears for their feeding, and then you go back for the afternoon at the orangutan center. Sun bears are actually the small species of the eight bears. All these bears around here have been pets before. So they've been rescued and they're rehabilitating them here. And if they can be released back into the wild, they are. Some of them have been too far gone and as pets to be released back into the wild like some of them have stunted growth but they're doing everything they can here it's a really cool um center yeah we should have checked out volunteering if we had more time yeah. i'd love to volunteer here or the rain tank sanctuary i want to see the pit viper hopefully this time tommy can see it the guy showed it to us earlier but tommy's colorblind it's green and the leaf is green it has red stripes green and red colorblind i'm not sure how it works but he couldn't see it and then when the prey walk past, strike, beaten, inject the venoms, the prey die, and then they slowly swallow the whole thing. All right, so now we're leaving the Sun Bear Conservatory. The orangutan place is closed from 12 to 2, but there's a restaurant cafe right on site, which is super convenient because we're out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll take a little break, have a rest, and then head back, and hopefully we see some big orangutans this time. Fingers crossed. After lunch, we headed back to the rehab center for the last feeding of the day and ran into another orangutan on the walkway. After following the orangutan around different walkways, we walked back to the feeding platform and we were lucky enough to end the day witnessing a mother orangutan with her baby. getting his last shots of the orangutan. The orangutan right there. Yeah. Love seeing those orangutans, all the monkeys, it's so cool. And it's so secluded in here, they have their own private rainforest. It's beautiful, so many animals. We have one bear that was that got killed by a venomous snakes. Oh really? Oh. Dead, dead, oh. dead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So oh. not fun. Oh.